Hey everybody, thank you for joining me. You and I both know there are a ton of application chores out there that are considered by any standard to be complex, difficult, time-consuming, and costly. Well, listen up. Use a Red Lion Data Station Plus, a modular controller, or a G3 operator interface panel coupled with Crimson 3.0 software, and let's make this simple. In this video, I'll show you how to use Crimson 3's database conversion utility to convert a database written for one type of Redline interface product to another. That is to say, if I have a database written for a data station plus and I now need a local display or control, I can use this utility to convert my database to one suitable for download to a G3 operator interface. Or if I now need to add some type of I.O. to the application, I can convert it to a modular controller database. In case this hasn't struck you yet, we are talking about a potentially huge time-saving bonus over rewriting your entire database to satisfy a different target device. The conversions that can be made do depend on the original target device, but just about any combination is supported. Let's have a look at how it works. In this example, I'll start with a database configured to work with a Data Station Plus GT set for a resolution of 640 by 480. The conversion process starts by dropping the file menu, and about a third of the way down, we'll select Save Conversion. This opens a list from which we will select a new target device. I've decided my operator needs local display and control of the process at hand, so in this case, I'm going to select the G315 as my new target device. Click Convert, give the new file a name, and save it and it lets me know that this conversion was indeed a big success. So, let's look at this. The database is now configured for a G315, and all of the fuel for the time-saving fire is here on the left. Communications devices, assigned. Data tags, mapped. Display pages, intact. Web server, enabled. Data logger, login data. The only thing left to do is connect and download to a G315 and I have a new target device up and on its way. Now let's tell a different story. This time I've decided I want to add some type of I.O. to my application. I don't need a local display, but I do still need remote access and data logging. This time we'll convert our Data Station Plus database to a modular controller database. We repeat the process by dropping the file menu select Save Conversion, and this time we select the Modular Controller SX model, which you'll notice has a lower resolution on the virtual display than the 640 by 480 resolution data station we're converting from. This will present us with a few adjustments to make this time around, but Crimson 3 has a fairly deep bucket of tools to make the process a smooth one. So, now our database is configured for a modular controller, and I can add the I.O. I need to suit the application. Again, the communications devices, the data tags, the web server, and the data logger have all come along for the ride. And so did the virtual display pages, but you'll notice Crimson 3 has flagged a few errors for us to address. Because this time we converted from a higher resolution down to a lower resolution, some of the objects on the display may not be sized properly. In some cases, it may simply be a matter of resizing the text box by a pixel or two, like these selector switch labels. When I try a resize on these navigation buttons, I soon figure out the font is just too big. So, I get a look at what font is being used, and then navigate to Crimson 3's Font Manager, a utility that allows you to swap one font for another throughout the database. Highlight Pages, select the Fonts tab, and then click on Manage Font Database. Since the font being used is a system or resident font, I click Show System to add the system fonts to the list. I select the one I want to replace, click Replace, select the font I want to replace it with, and say OK. It tells me the undo list will be cleared. Is that OK? I say yes, and we just swapped one font size for another. Now when I resize this button, the smaller font makes the resize more palatable. Let me show you how to save some more time with a few other tools as well. If I multiple select the other three buttons while holding the shift key, right click, 
select same size as and then point to the home button resizing is complete then there are a couple of ways to line these buttons up see the guidelines that appear there that's one way or you can right click again go to align with top of and point to the home button again done now let's get them evenly spaced select them all right click go to arrange and select equally spaced horizontally done again this button here I'm going to just make bigger to accommodate the text line it up with the top of these buttons and there you have it guys and gals this conversion is complete and so with just a few minutes time a couple of point-and-click maneuvers and of course some of the slickest hardware and software on the planet Red Lion takes another dirty job and cleans it up with simplicity to learn more about Red Lion's interface products and Crimson 3 software, please visit us at redlion.net and thank you for letting us share this exciting product information with you.